Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are playing Eleanor with Limit Break. Yes, we are interrupting the flow of the videos where we progress through the new DLC with a Limit Break video. We are going for Silent Old Sanctuary because I don't like going for Divine Bloodline. And it's also not that great on inverse mode. As you can see, we are playing on inverse mode. The back of the stage is red. That means, uh, yeah, this will be... Um, a little bit difficult and my goal is that we can just uh, max out the weapon as much as possible damage goes up by one is very big and we just want to get to level 10 to get the next weapon i'm a little bit concerned that this will just not be enough to survive like do you see how we are getting killed uh yeah this will continue now we have one hope which is can you just destroy this you can't oh no it almost looks like it's targeted oh whoa Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe. Is this enough? Okay. Let me get a Tiragisu. Good. Now we can die. I always enjoy dying. No, I don't. Uh, can you please just do something? Okay. Curse is going on. We can't break the Candelabra here. I will just go for Tiragisu again because I think we'll definitely die. Either now or on the next curse. If we die now, we have to do everything now. Oh, this is not good. Okay, um, can, can we please level up very quickly? Okay, I need to get this up very quickly. At 10, we get the next one. I think the next one is better at defending myself. I'm still taking damage. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a second. <gasps> okay, there we go. Generates an expanding damaging zone. Damage multiplied by area. Now, this is the beauty about doing it this way. Uh, I got, I got an NFT. I got an NFT. Okay, I need I need to find healing. I need to find healing. <laughs> healing? Healing? This is like one of these rare scenarios where something goes right, and if this doesn't happen again in the future, nothing will work out. So, um, there's the curse. We still have the NFT right now. We don't have the NFT anymore. Oh, this is not good. Uh, empty tome. Look at our cooldown reduction. It's 77%. Is this good enough, please? <laughs> Freeze! Um, wasn't really necessary, but that's huge. There's spell stream. Now, we do have Empty Tome on the stage, but just like in the other videos, sometimes and most of the times, it's actually better to just get the Empty Tome right away, that you can kill more enemies, get way more levels, it's just worth it. Okay, so the beauty of these videos, the Limit Break videos, is we can check out individual weapons in detail, you know, because you don't have many other weapons, in fact, you only have that one weapon, right? So, th that is the goal, that we just want to see how it works out. Now, I was thinking about the Academy Badge, which removes growth. And technically speaking, we lose 15% growth, which is a lot, right? That's worth uh, 30 level ups with the Wicked Season Arcana. So is that really worth it to get a little bit more projectiles? And I believe it is because we are playing on the library where it would take super long to evolve our weapon and make it way more powerful. Okay, that's the reason why I will take it. Only 20% of all people watching are subscribed, so if you enjoy the content, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like, that we can hit our goal of 100,000 subscribers this year. Aside from this, I actually don't believe it's worth it, at least in a case like here, where we rely on level ups. Like, don't forget that, right? Everything that we do here it relies heavily on level up, so losing growth actually hurts us quite a lot. There's more crown, beautiful. What is the third weapon doing, by the way? Um, Yeah, I should have read that. I think it also whips the enemies. Let's actually get a duplicator in for more amount. Once we reach level 30, this will go up like bonkers. Oh no, it's a unique washing effect, right? The washing machine. That goes like... Like uh, big times or something. I'm not too sure, honestly. Okay, do we take damage still? Please say no. Please say no. Weapons can't talk, but please say no. It looks like we're actually fine, and there should be a red gem to the right side. Let me get this one first. And sure, crown, before we pick up all the experience. Yep, there it is. And reduces cooldown, sounds very good. We'll go over here, and let's just take the candle door. Let's take the spinach, and let's take 
Torona. These are all the items that I want to have and we just reached level 30. Our weapons are maxed out and now we just have to wait until minute 10 to combine them. Now usually I modded these videos to already have evolutions earlier than normal but this time we don't need it because this weapon has a unique effect that if you combine it, if you union it, it keeps all the limit break bonuses from the past weapons. Now one thing I don't know is if it keeps the numbers, so if you have 80 level ups, if it also reads level 80 or if it goes back to 1 but it copies the stats... Um. Okay, bosses could be a problem in the future. But yeah, there you go, fire swarm or projectile. That means we kill more enemies, hopefully. And that means we get more experience and hopefully make up for the loss that we have right now. Maybe? Hopefully? Uh, let's actually pick up the chest because I'll get the vacuum there and it may be that we max out. I don't think so, but maybe. There we go. Okay, Taruna, nice. Academy badge, beautiful. We also have a bunch of revivals now, or will have a bunch of revivals. Okay, okay, look at the levels. Yeah, there, there's not a lot left. We actually did really well. Wow. Do you think we can take on a Guardian like this? I don't think we can, looking at how it went with the boss, but we could give it a try and just see. Do I want to max out first and go into limit break territory? That may be worth it. You know, just that we power up our weapons a little bit, especially with bonus amount. Hmm. No, I will walk over there, I think. They got 100% bonus curse. Means more enemies, means more kills. Are we killing, though? We are killing. Right now, at least. Now, the usual challenge in these videos, these inverse mode videos, is the enemies have three times the normal amount of HP. And you have to imagine this... Uh, yeah, just random always. You have to imagine this like a graph on, you know, with X and Y axis and stuff like this. Usually without inverse mode, it is possible that you actually become way more powerful than the enemies and you kill everyone. But with triple the amount of HP, the enemies quickly catch up with your weapon while you get limit break stats and eventually they are so powerful that you get zero kills. Like, you, it's impossible to kill them anymore. And I just hope that doesn't happen and the weapon is somehow powerful enough. But I also didn't want to spoiler myself and read up too much about the weapon. I pretty much know how it works and the benefits, how you can pretty much max it out. But I didn't want to know every single detail, like how much damage it exactly has and stuff like this, you know. So let's go over to the Guardian, get Duration, get Area. Does that sound good? I would say that sounds good. And do you see some of our weapons deal 300 damage, 700? What is going on? What happened to the boss there? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm actually getting really concerned. Like, we lose a lot of HP while I'm moving. But what do you think will happen at 6 minutes? Where the tough enemies spawn? Like the super strong ones. Yeah, these ones. Uh, we do have a revival. I need the experience here. I want it. It's worth it, hopefully. Uh, there we go. Was it really worth it? Uh, we didn't level up that much. Okay. Do they kill me though? Or are we safe? I think the sparkling on the floor stays. It's like a center water. And that means if we just stand still, they shouldn't be able to kill me, hopefully. Yeah, it feels like Labora a little bit. Okay, good. I also checked out if there are special stats that would be really good with this weapon. And there's pretty much just area and projectile speed as arcana that we can take. Like, there's not a unique arcana that makes them considerably better. So what I'll do is, I will go for Boogaloo of Illusions for area, and then we'll go for projectile speed and just buff up the weapons because there are individual parts that get buffed up, like their damage, their individual damage, since the union is pretty much just combining all three. Like, it turns into one single weapon but it's still all three weapons and doing their thing so yeah that will be good okay let's do that an area will help us kill more enemies from further away um am i scared no you're scared we have one revival left i don't want to waste that like this would be so good for the guardian but we have to wait until eight minutes right now yeah but this is so spicy it's we are kind of managing right if i don't move we have to skip a lot, but it's still working, like I can't collect the experience is what I mean, right now. And the earlier you collect it, the better, since you already get the bonuses from the Wicked Season Arcana. But aside from this, no, it's going fine. The next growth cycle, we should be able to get all the experience. How many kills are we getting though? It's actually decent. Wow. 
Yeah, okay, that makes it very simple, because the red crystal will be over there, it has all the experience collected. So we wait for the growth at 8 minutes, there will be a boss as well. And I will just rush over there, okay, now. Yeah, we are killing all of them, beautiful. I will just rush over there, and there are the level ups. Ooh, fancy. That was plus one amount. Careful to not trigger this guardian. I want to trigger the other one, and I'm aware, okay, there's a high chance that we will die to this guardian. If he just runs through, and we can't kill the enemies in time, oh, that's actually nice. But yeah, if we can't kill the enemies, that was just it. So, how do we do this? The curse is about to happen, I obviously don't want to trigger him now. How would it go if I stand still? I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I don't have a good feeling at all. Hmm... I would need a freeze or something. Uh, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just figure out what happens. He is right now over there. What can happen is that the enemies come from behind and push him through. If this happens, we are dead, because I can't react in time. Like, he will go forward here, and if he pushes through here because the enemies <gasps> push him, like this, uh, curse is about to happen. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is really not good. This is so perfect. This is amazing. Uh, can you destroy this? I, I need something else, because this won't last long enough. Um, we just have to keep the enemies alive, I guess? Where, where is the Guardian? There? Yeah, if we keep the enemies alive, then the Guardian can't kill me, but the enemies will kill me. Oh no. Chicken? Very good. Okay, more area means we hit him more often. Keep in mind, we have a ton of damage, so the Guardian will not survive for a long time. But the bigger problem is that the normal enemies are killing me. So, more area. Sounds very good. Also increases the damage at ideal. Um... Can you please die? He has like 25,000 HP with 500 damage per attack. That should be 50 attacks if I'm not... <sighs> that chicken was not worth it. Uh, yeah, 50 attacks if I'm not mistaken. Roughly. Maybe... Oh no, it's 75,000. Oh, it's inverse mode. Okay, let's just run away. I'd rather take damage from these enemies than the Guardian. Um... Okay, but I'm still dying. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, the enemy should be dying. If the Guardian doesn't die now, I will die. Like, I have one revival left, that's it. If the revival is gone, then we are just dead. Oh, we spent attacks like crazy. Can we just kill the boss, please? Um, maybe I don't need to walk around that much. No, I do need to walk around that much. I need a freeze here. Oh, <laughs> double chicken drop. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. We got this. We got this. Yes, there. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Do you see why I'm so concerned with the Guardians always? Why are you still alive? You should be dead! Really? Oh, this is not good. Okay, um... Chicken is nice, but did you see how fast I died? Yeah, this... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. All the experience come to me. There's a chest. We can evolve. Okay. Now we know if it keeps all the numbers. Because if it's at a zero, then we know that they are gone, right? They, they are gone. Oh, I hope it really kept the stats. Though. Washing machine power? Washing machine power? <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> Okay, and he also very quickly died, so I don't think there was a lot left to do. But that was spicy, okay. So we have these electric bolts going around, it looks like. And they deal a ton of damage, oh my god. Okay, we want to go for area first. Uh, Boogaloo of Illusions, because there's nothing else that would really make a lot of sense. And um, having a bigger weapon is a lot better than having a small weapon. At 21 minutes, we will go for projectile speed, which will make the weapon a lot faster, hopefully. I don't exactly know what it changes, but eh, something will happen. And we'll see what will happen. There's the experience. Where's the big gem? This was the big one. 187. We are 11 minutes in. 187. I would say that's respectable. We don't have a vacuum down. Do we want to take on the other guardian? I could take on the final guardian, like, uh, not final, but the one next to us, just to see how much damage we actually deal. Because I see 2.5k there. Oh. Wow. I mean, I kind of want to. But this will kill me. Do I have a reward? No, I don't. Mm, but we have such a powerful washing machine. There's no way we would lose against the guardian, right? Zero. So many red gems. Oh, mama. Uh, 206, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Just go bonkers. Okay, let's wait until I get two freezes down. And then I feel comfortable enough to fight him. Okay, he's over there. So we want to spawn them here. Oh, nice, we even got an NFT. And a vacuum. 
Okay. Just a freeze, maybe. I can pick up the vacuum here. There we go. This will take a while until it flows in. Oh, do we have one freeze? No, but another vacuum. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a freeze. Is this too far away? No, we will trigger him now. No, uh, we have to wait. Okay, we'll wait. Okay, we won't wait. There we go. Trigger him. Trigger him! I need to freeze. I think I need to freeze. The vacuum is not good, but I can't change it. Can we kill him? We have like five seconds left. Uh, okay. That was uh, way faster than I thought it would be. That was one single freeze. Um, okay. Do you want some money? Who doesn't want to have some money, right? Let's go. Let's get some money in here. How many kills are we actually getting? 100k kills at 13 minutes. Not center water level, not heaven sword level, I think. But um, it's decent. Given that we didn't start with Boogaloo of Illusions, this is actually insane. And look at how big the weapon is now. The field on the floor. I think we will have a ton of kills in the future because the damage of this weapon is bonkers. Keep in mind that one of these weapons that is combined into this one scales with our area stat, the other with the might, and I think the last one was... What was the last one? Speed, I think? So, yeah, the one with area, which I think is the one on the floor, is just getting more and more powerful all the time. So, yeah. That's pretty much like a center water, but stronger. Look at the- wait, that was 2k, right? Was that 2k? 4k! Right, because it keeps uh, fluctuating. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. Oh, wow, and even more area. The weapon itself is getting area. Oh my god, 3k, 3.7k, 4k, it's going back up again. It's getting bigger. <laughs> oh, well, uh, now I kind of want to take on the other guardians. Not because we need to, but because we can. Do I want to have more curse? More curse means more enemies. They also spawn faster with more curse. Hmm. But we have a ton of curse. Um, I think I will not pick up more curse in case something goes wrong. How is the bitrate doing on YouTube, by the way? Yeah? Is, is it working out? I, I don't think it's working out. I upload, by the way. I upload in 40 megabits my videos. The normal upload rate on YouTube is 6 to 8. So I upload 6 to 5 times the usual quality of the picture that you would see. So if my videos break, well it's partially because of YouTube, also the, the fever is gone. It's partially because of YouTube, but this means there's a lot of stuff going on. Like a lot of really bad stuff. Do we take this? Do we take this? Of course we take this, what a question! Oh. <laughs> Yeah, the kills are just shooting up like crazy. That was a 7k, by the way. I just saw 7k damage. I think from the thunder that is going around. Oh, wow. Do you see how fast we are killing the enemies that these red gems keep generating? I literally have to dodge red gems. Oh, god, okay. Um, how did it just get in so far? Wait, what? Did you see that? What happened there? Oh, because we are moving. I have to stand still. Mm, do we still want to walk to the Guardians right now? Because then we can do it in the future. I think I want to do that. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let, let's do it. Do you know how much attention I have to pay to this that I don't accidentally walk into red gems? Because they just pop out of nowhere and sometimes in the middle of the path. So far it's good. It's either way most like... ...that they appear in corners. Okay, moving around is maybe not the safest option. Um, I almost died there. And keep in mind, we don't have a revival left. So, or oh, I just moved too much. That could also be... How much are we leveling up, by the way? 358! Um, okay, yeah, sure, sure. Don't move while Curse is active. The enemies are too fast. And because the effect on the floor... Look at how big the particles are, by the way. The effect on the floor takes a while to land, so yeah, that's a little bit dangerous. I guess what I could do is, I just take the freeze, and now I keep walking. Was this a vacuum? I think that's a vacuum. Um, yep. Yes, perfect. There's the red gem. Let's go bonkers. Ooh, 380, that, just 22 levels. Uh, I guess for the time of the stage, that's fine. 17 minutes, you know. Okay, seriously speaking, 
Who of you expected this weapon to be this broken? Like I assumed it would be good, it's a union out of 3 weapons and I knew it keeps the effect of the main weapon so it's like having 3 weapons in one, right? It's triple the scaling so I expected it to be decent. But this good? It's just killing everything. This may even be able to deal with the wave 29. No, don't kid yourself. If we get to level 1000 they have... Uh, 5 is the base HP, so that's 50 times 3, 150 times 1000, that's 150,000 HP, multiplied with our curse. So right now curse is 400% roughly, so multiplied by 4 is 600,000 HP if we get to level 1000. That is more than half a million HP on the final wave per enemy. Do you think we can kill that? I don't think so, but who knows, maybe. Never underestimate how fast you are attacking if you have a huge amount of area and cooldown reduction. Because you can easily attack 100 times a second. And if each attack does 15,000 damage times 100, that's... Uh, wait, what? 15, wait, 15,000 times 100 is 1.5 million. Oh, but it's only this big ball here that does this much damage. Yeah, it's not the AoE, that one does only 4k. So that times 100 would be 400,000. That would mean we would kill them. Easily. Wait, what? No, that can't be true. That would be like the first time that I still kill the final wave. No, I did something wrong in my head. They have 5 base HP, then it's multiplied in the game by 10 to make the numbers look bigger. Then we have 50 multiplied with the inverse mode, which gives them plus 200% HP, so 150, multiplied with our curse. Oh, the curse would be way higher in 600 levels, so this plus 300 is 750, so 7.5. What did I say? We were at 150 times 7.5, that is roughly times 10. Yup! <laughs> <laughs> I was mathing. I was mathing. Not mathing, okay? Mathing. Mathematics. Yeah, that's the word. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay. What was I talking about? 150 times 10. That's 1.5k. So it's like 1,250. And then we have times 1,000. That's 1.2 million. HP and we would kill that actually No way No, you don't stop kidding yourself Dex. You can't kill. Let's wait until the final wave I want to see if this number will still go up like crazy on the final wave like not just one rarely randomly But like crazy now what could be in the way even with enough damage to kill them is knockback Okay knockback if it pushes them away and they despawn then nothing will happen Oh, I'm actually so excited about this. And now we get projectile speed to scale the weapons further. And it's the lowest stat, so the impact of this is ginormous. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Divine Bloodline would have also been huge with the one that scales with might. Oh my god. But we wouldn't have triggered this anymore, right? Yeah, because they need to die with our touch. And we don't touch them. There it is. Let's go. Okay. Oh my god. I want to fight a Guardian so badly right now. And the Guardian is around the corner. Okay, let's see. I want to have one freeze. Just in case something goes wrong. Uh, yeah, nah, whatever. There's the Guardian. <gasps> I'm not panicking. You're panicking. <laughs> easy. That was so easy. Oh, where are your concerns? <laughs> Me not. I kept my cool and my chills. <laughs> I didn't expect that. That was, um. Yeah. You know, because the thing is, the moment I realized. We are not running away. Like any moment the Guardian would catch up. The thing is, we were not killing him. That means soon the curse would have happened and we were guaranteed to die. But um, we managed. Easy peasy. What are you doing? What is the ball doing? Oh, it rotates and then it moves in. Really? I thought it was 
like staying out all the time or do i have to move let's see when it comes in i want to move around and see what it does if it goes out again oh my god okay we are getting a ton of kills by the way like a huge amount of kills okay no it does go in it always does this do we reach level 500 here? It should actually be fairly simple to reach that. Because we didn't get it on the last cycle since we were running away. I mean, we were fighting a guardian like a real man. Yeah, we were showing the guardian. Oh my god, so many vacuums. We're still leveling up. Uh, okay, 545. Uh, decent, decent, easy peasy. Uh, am I getting hit? Oh, I lost HP. Am I getting hit? Oh, shit. I'm actually getting hit. Okay, there's a freeze down there. Yeah, when curse happens, we have a little bit of a problem. I think the enemies are so fast right now that they just teleport to me. And sometimes they manage to hit me. So, good that we have two freezes down there. Dex, 25 minutes. The boss will appear and the boss will charge at you like crazy. You need to freeze the boss, because the boss will one-shot you, okay? Ah, don't worry, Dex. Don't worry about it. I, I, I can do that. It's all gonna be fine. So they don't manage to hit me right now, because I think they are just next to me. Oh, um, well, that one managed. Okay. Uh, let's get this vacuum. There's another one over there. I'll just stand next to this vacuum here. There's also a freeze down there. So even if I forget about it, we still have one down there. Okay, that's good. 46,000 damage! Did you see- what is this? Oh, that's the NFT. Did you see the 46,000 damage? What? It deals so much damage and it keeps going up. What, what numbers do we have here? 5k! The normal attacks, that one is 1.7k. Yeah! Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, we may have a little bit of a situation over here where I'm dying. And believe it or not, I don't like the situation of dying. Oh no. Can we can we stop the curse? Can, can we tune down the curse again? A little bit, please. Ah, 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 it. Uh, boss, boss, yeah, yo. Oh. <laughs> Get destroyed! Get destroyed? Are you getting destroyed? Oh, that took way too long. Um, no, th that is fine. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Now, these enemies, they take way less knockback. So, we will see now if we only survive because of knockback or if we have enough damage. By the way, I want to check out the damage numbers. 8k. Very good. Very solid. Okay. There's a vacuum. So, what are the enemies doing, huh? Can they get to us? Can they... Oh! What? Why? No! No! Don't disappoint me! You were so good to me! Well, what is it? Hey, do you know how much damage I'm dealing? You're not allowed to do this! I, 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 I have to freeze. I have to freeze. There's no way we will survive this otherwise. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that. They don't even survive that long. Well, I guess they just rush in and that hits me then. Okay, we have to beg and hope that now they won't get in. The minute 25 wave has re resistance, right? As I said, to knock back. So it made sense that they got in that far. But if even these ones now get in, then I have a very big problem. Okay, okay, okay. So far it's good. If it only happens on curse, that's also fine. I can just look for freezes and freeze them. Okay, curse, 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 curse. curse. Careful, careful. Ooh, ooh, that's, um... No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, it's not fine, it's not fine! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I will, uh, I think I will freeze them. I think I will always freeze them. Yeah, when, when Curse is active, I mean. Oh, that was evil. How is that possible? We're dealing so much damage. And what is going on with the items down there? They are in such random spots. I think it's because sometimes the screen shakes around and it actually uh, moves them away. So, Curse is about to happen, but the freeze is on top of a vacuum. I don't like that. Maybe I can use this. Okay, NFT. Yeah, I can just NFT them away. I can't NFT them away. Yeah, I have to take... Okay, run away from the experience. Okay, and now we collect experience. Beautiful. That was... That was... Mwah, beautiful. Uh, so where's the next freeze? There's another freeze. Very good. Uh, level 672. 
I never expected this video to turn out like this. At first I expected we will just lose and I call it quits or go for like Bloodline Arcana, something that makes you overpowered, you can't possibly lose, you know? Which can be fun with high numbers, but it's like, yeah, yeah, not that great, you know? Because you know you can't lose. Then after we saw the damage numbers here, 8k and all of that, you know, I was like, whoa, that's so much damage, but it doesn't attack very fast, do you see that? Then yes, it has high damage, but it takes so long to attack. And now I'm like, okay, we may actually die any moment. Like one mistake, and that's just it. Or if the enemies become too tanky, like on the wave 25, where they survived so long and had knockback resistance that they got to me, it's game over. And there's actually a boss in there. Oh, I got hit. On a normal wave. Okay. Uh, curse is about to happen. Where's my freeze? Where's my freeze? I don't have a freeze around. Oh no, oh no, okay, okay, chicken, it's, it, it also works with chickens, as long as we heal up, okay, as long as we heal up, huh, why are they doing nothing now, wait, that doesn't add up, wait, what, I got hit once, that was it, I mean, it's also based on chance, how they move, but that was weird, and I didn't level up a lot, that means we are not killing the green guys, we are just killing the others, the witches. And now we get zero kills. Yeah, this is kind of what I expected. So what we... we actually get some kills. That is, um, surprising. Um, if we can freeze the... ...them though, we will get a huge amount of kills. Ooh, oh, washing machine. Oh no, oh no, oh no, don't die now, don't die now, don't die now, Dex. Uh, just collect everything. Just get everything, okay? This is fine. There's a rosary. Let's, ju let's just get everything. Yeah, sure. Oh, frozen? Frozen? Are we killing them? Uh, not really. This takes way too long to kill them. Yeah, they just get pushed away. I mean, I would say we still managed to do it. We still managed to do it, but... The weapon is just not strong enough for inverse mode wave 29. But don't feel bad about it. Most weapons can't deal... Deal with it. It's fine. Oh, hi, Reaper. And goodbye, Reaper. Yeah, that is um, a lot of damage numbers. That was just... That was just beautiful. So here's a... 4.4G. Yeah, see, this is a damage. I guess it's a knockback or something that is the real issue. But either way, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. See you the next time.